Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Yenny and I just got a notice that a doll is ready to be picked up. Now, I haven't sent any dolls away. So, <laughs> I guess this is my way of telling you that, yeah, yeah, I'm getting a new doll. Um, but yeah, um, some of you might know this already. If you follow me on Tumblr, I've posted a sketch of the character and the doll sculpt uh, company picture in question. But I didn't think they'd be here this quickly. <laughs> They did get stuck into customs, but once I cleared the ransom, it was all fine. Uh, but yeah, uh, other another reason why I wasn't sure if I'll be making this or telling you guys about this is because it's technically not my doll. <laughs> it's for my fiance. Uh, it's their character. It's their like thing. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up doing the face up, handling all of the face up. Eyes, wigs, clothes, everything. And I don't think they're gonna be doing anything with the doll. <laughs> but you know, um, it's great to be able to well, kind of get their character shelled up as well. Now that I was able to afford it, the doll wasn't like super expensive or anything. For now, uh, they are gonna be needing some upgrades later, but that's that's the bit that's gonna be costly. But yeah, I am trying to acquire a ride to get to the post office to pick him up, and I don't know what will happen then. Um, I'll try to make some videos or take some video uh, of the journey there to bring you along, because I kind of like the kind of videos where we go on an adventure together, in a way. But if that won't be possible, because if I get a ride from someone who doesn't want to, wants to doesn't want that to be done in their car, I will totally respect their privacy and just not take any video. Um, but I'll definitely do a box opening one way or the other, so I'll either be doing it myself or I'll see if I'll see if my fiancé wants to join in on that. Uh, I'm not sure if they will. Actually, I'm relatively sure that they won't. They're kind of a private, private person as well, uh, but you know, to each their own. Um, I'll get to you in the next cut some more pictures or whatever, be it from the journey there or on the way back or me getting ready. I just get the notice. It's kind of full early in the day, so people are at their jobs. <laughs> I'm just sitting home doing commission work. Mm. But, but yeah, I'll get to you when I have some new updates. See you guys then. Okay, so now I'm starting to leave. I just got a call that my ride is on their way soon. It's actually my mom and my little brother who are going out know, eating at the same time. So some family time, which is really nice, but it also means that I won't be getting to open the box quite yet. It shouldn't be long though. I don't know if I'll be opening it by myself or with my hubby, but I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But yeah, see you guys soon. I'm back. Temptation is real. <laughs> I want to wait, but I also want to open it right now. While I'm waiting, I thought I might as well show you how the outer package looks, because I think that once the hubby gets here, I'm gonna ask him if he wants to open this with me. And at that point, we won't be looking at the outer box anymore. We'll just be digging in. So this is the outer box. It's like um, kind of like a wine red, like a deep red. And it's pretty bumped up. I'm kind of from a slightly being a <laughs> from being a devious person. I can kind of feel the 
there is an inner box in here but it's quite a lot smaller than the outer box and you can kind of feel it gives I took off the uh, address card from here so this part is still sticky I don't want to turn it all the way around but the bottom part is all nice it's it's just being banged up from the sides or from the top in transit but now that I know that there is, is an inner box I am very pleased so far um, but yeah now all I have left to do is to wait for the hubby to get here I'll see you guys in a bit Here he is, um, yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> this is actually the next day, um, the hubby was there for the box opening but didn't want their voice or hands to be shown, so that part's gonna be sped up, uh, but now I'm gonna show you a bit about how this sun looks. I've changed the default hands up for the, for the beast hands that came with it. They're basically the same, but the beast hands are a bit larger and they have a more expressive pose and longer nails, which is very suitable for this character. So I'm gonna be leaving those up. Um, I put him on some clothes. I made this this knitwear for. Actually, my Hojo Freya is ended up a bit too big, but hey, it's a perfect fit for him, so <laughs> all's good in that regard. Um, he has cute little toes and everything. Um, he is single jointed, and he's a bit larger than I expected, to be honest. I thought he'd be a tiny bit smaller. But I think this is actually a lot better because um, I am hoping to hybrid this head to another body and that body is significantly larger than this one. So <laughs> that's gonna end up working for me. He got the jointed tail which I'm going to shorten. I think I'm gonna be taking off three of these extra like joints so that he only has the end and one joint before the... Uh, no, I'm going to be taking four joints off before the before the butt. Um, yeah, some things that I still have to learn about this body is posing, definitely. Because this character uh, requires more active poses than my other dolls. My other dolls I'm just gonna plonk over. Uh, yep, this is going to be my fiancé's character. He's already very much in character. I love, I love, love, love the smile he has. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna show you, um, actually, I'm just gonna pick up Shana here and show you the head size difference. So these two have basically similar sized heads. The kitty's head is just a bit shorter. So I'm thinking they could do really well on an, in an MSD body, like a skinny one. Um, this character is going to be taller though. Um, 
I think he's going to be like 50 centimeters tall when, I, when I'm done with it. And super, super skinny, so I'm going to be getting him a doll chateau body at some point. But for now, he's going to be a kid version. And going to be hanging out with... I'm just going to see. With my Hojo Freya. This is the height difference. And... My Nana Hojo Freya. I think he fits in with them quite well. Though he is a lot more um, expressive and he's a lot more heavier. The head is surprisingly heavy. Like, I was, I was really surprised. Uh, he has a faceplate system and that's also a thing that I didn't quite realize when ordering him. But I'm really happy with it. Uh, so his fa face just comes off. There's a... It's a magnet and... Inside it looks pretty standard, to me, at least. Uh, there. It slots on pretty easily, but I'm just still gonna have to learn how to do faceplates. Uh, I only have one other doll with a faceplate, and I don't really do much with their head, so... It's a thing to learn. There's a lot of stuff I have to do with this... Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing the face-up myself, or if I'm going to be ordering it from someone else. I already have one doll that's due for a face-upping and, uh, and some treatment, and that doll's going to be going to someone else. But I think I might be practicing face-ups with my doll more Narsha, because I've done her face-up, and uh, it's not the best. <laughs> I mean, it's not so, like bad, but it's definitely something that I could improve on and she has a relatively easy face to do, so that's the thing. As far as posing goes, this guy seems pretty sturdy. He has a chest joint, which can lock to a leaning back position, and it can also lock to a slouching position. Uh, he also has a waist joint. Let's see if you can see it under the clothes. There. It's like there. Yeah. I'm not sure quite. I mostly use this one for like the twisting, but it seems. I, I haven't quite figured it out yet. <laughs> Just gonna. Ah. But yeah, he has the. The tail isn't magnetic, it's strung. So that's, again, something that I have to deal with. Um, the stringing point is inside the torso. So I'm gonna have to... I'm not sure how I'm gonna take it apart without taking the entire doll apart. So for now he's gonna have a longer tail. But yeah, um, that's all I had for this box opening video or... Uh, a blog or whatever it was. <laughs> uh, thanks guys for watching and I see you again next time. Bye!